uh, skate a uh, spin on my dick like a bait blade uh, my dick get hit her like AK uh, these voices back as they bases uh, tie up your legs boy you tripping like hey, wanna get done I say this every day uh, these niggas jealous and uh, boy you was better like medicine uh. Yo what up, it's your girl, Brad's Dot Ronnie and I'm back with another one. And today's video is me showing y'all my back to school haul. So if that's what you want to see today and you're interested or whatever, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So basically, I'm not about to do much talking before I just show y'all the stuff. I'm about to show y'all the stuff and there we go. So first, I'm going to start with book bags. So I have two book bags. My first book bag is a Fila book bag, as you can see. It's a Fila. It's a really big book bag. Like This book bag is huge. It's a laptop compartment, book bag, all that stuff. As you can see on the picture, it's kind of a big book bag. I got this at Shoe Depot for $25. So, yeah, it says Fila here. It says Fila on the arm. It says Fila on the front. And it also says Fila on the zippers. So, yeah. This is my first book bag that I bought with my own money. Um, the rest of the stuff, my dad bought me. And one thing my mom bought me. We're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that. We're, gonna, we're not gonna say anything. But my next book bag uh -huh, is this. Your these book bags is cute. I got this for thirty five dollars. We're not gonna get into how expensive these book bags be. Okay, we're not gonna open them. Anyway, next, those are my two book bags. Yeah. Um, I got my feeling one from Shoe Depot and I got that one from my school uniform store. And I think it's called Uniform Store. I think. I don't know. But it's by Sam's Club in the university area. So look it up if you want a cheap book bag because at Journeys, those book bags are like $40. So 40 and, you know, 35 is a $5 gap. $5 is a big difference. So get you a cheaper book bag if you already haven't got you one. But next, we're going to move into school supplies. Um... Yeah, a lot of my school supplies I already had at the house, so I didn't really have to buy that much. Like, it's gonna seem a lot, it's gonna seem like a lot, but it's really not. So, let's just go ahead. I'm talking too much. Um, I got a red binder, I already had one, so I'm gonna use two. They're both red. The one I already have has a pocket, this one doesn't. It just has three prongs, little what is this? Folders, flaps, whatever. I got graph paper. I got, I think I got five folders. Yes, I did. I got five folders because I have four classes, but you know, like, you never know. What if I, like, my homeroom has me put some stuff in the folder? So I got this blue, like, leaf holographic one, this black worded holographic one. This pink elephant holographic one, this dark blue holographic one, and this light blue holographic one. I know you're like, dang, are you obsessed with holographic? Just a little bit, okay, gosh. Next, I got two College Rule 100 sheet compositional books. I got teal. This looks green on camera. I don't know if the, it's gonna pick up the pick up the color, but it's teal. And purple. I do like teal, but purple is my favorite color. So those weren't on the list, but I got them because I knew some raggedy teacher was gonna ask for one. But next, I got dividers, erasable dividers to be exact. Five came in a pack, but on the list it said get eight. But eight is such a like specific number, so I just got two packs of five because I was just like where do you what place do you know sells a pack of eight so it's like are you done next I got a planner my school sells planners but I didn't want to buy their planner because usually like school planners are like $20. Last year they sold them for a dollar but their planners are ugly so I got this cute gray one. Like I just like how it is. Like it's like it's a calendar but it don't have no um it doesn't have any 
what's it called it doesn't have any numbers i'm sorry i cannot talk oh this one the front page you can't see but the front page is like um it has 2018 2019 and 2020 um it has a place for contacts your monthly stuff your weekly stuff um and in the back it has like blank spaces for like notes so i like that so next we're gonna move into our second bag of school supplies because we have three bags of school supplies sorry this stuff is what i had at the house already and the last bag is stuff that i got from the store so later on in the video you will see that i have erasers already and pens but I'm probably going to use, Jesus, they're about to fall out. Probably going to use these pins first because they're already open. Um, yeah, we're just going to explain the rest later. Lime paper, this is like my third pack of lime paper in the house. So I definitely didn't go have to buy any. Yeah. So lastly, my mom gets like spiral notebooks from work. So I have four colors because I have four classes. So I have blue, red, purple, and yellow. I would have picked green, but I didn't have any green in the house. And I'm not really tripping about colors. So there's that. Next is utensils and all that stuff. So I have pen and gear, fine point, dry erase markers. White out because I love to write in pens. But I don't like erasable pens because to me they don't erase. Pens. I bought a whole pack of blue pens when I had pens at the house. I also have 20 plus 6 bonus pencils. I don't understand why they can just put 26 but they put 20 plus 6. I don't know. These are paper made. These are expensive. Because paper made is expensive. But yeah, I got these. I like these. I got crayons because I'm a child, color pencils, glue sticks because my teacher attacked me last year for not having glue sticks. <laughs> Miss Ellingsworth. Um, anyway, I got these cheap highlighters because I wasn't about to buy the Sharpie highlighters because they're too expensive. Um, I got the neon ruled index cards. These are 100 count. It came with yellow, green, orange, and pink. I also got one of these pencil pouches for the first time in my life. I always used to get the ones that are like see-through and they like zip. Like they're like a square and they zip at the top. One of those are either the ones that are like plastic and it's like a box. And it's like if you shake it, you can hear like pencils like hitting against plastic, you know. Like they open and close like a little lunchbox looking type of thing. I don't know. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Um erasers which i already had and a pencil sharpener and i don't know why i bought a pencil sharpener because i don't even have wooden pencils but that's way besides the point that was my last bag for school supplies so before i go ahead and you know go on about my business i just want to show you one last thing I'm not showing y'all any school clothes. I go to uniform school. Just know I bought khakis, black pants, blue, and black shirts. I bought a fleece and a sweatshirt. So. I got, okay, let me show y'all the box. Felis. So I know people are talking really bad about Felis right now, but I'm trying to be myself. Okay. Because I know I can rock me some Fila's. I can rock me some Skechers. I can rock me some K-Swiss. I can rock me some Reeboks. I can rock me whatever I would like to rock because I'm just that cute. So if you're still worried about Jordans, you're overrated. Because Jordans are overrated. So yeah. Yeah, I got the all white ones because these are beautiful. And... I'm debating if I'm going to wear them with the tag on them. I don't know. Because the tag kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. Let me put these back in the box where they're supposed to be. Because I always have trouble putting the shoe back in the box. These are one pair of shoes that I will keep in my box. 
I don't keep many of my shoes in the box. But that's it for this video.